<clears throat> the first thing I want to do for number one is write the position function. So let's kick from four feet off the ground, an initial velocity of 48 feet per second. And they want to know how fast the ball is traveling when it hits the ground. So the, the first thing I'm going to want to do is write the position function, which, which is usually denoted as S of T. Is going to equal negative 16 with English units T squared plus the initial velocity, 48 T for time, plus 4, the original height. And I'm going to take the derivative of that. So the velocity is going to be negative 32 T plus 48. And now what I need to do is find out how fast the ball is traveling when it hits the ground. In order to find out when it hits the ground, I have to take the position when the height is zero, um, not at zero, when it's set equal to zero. So I, I set this equal to zero. I need to solve it for t. I'm going to hit mode, 5, 3, and I'm going to type in the coefficients, negative 16, 48, and then 4. And that's one of the times, the x-intercept. So I'm going to get the decimal, the sd, and that's 3.081 seconds. So it hits the ground at t equals 3.081 seconds. That's when it hits the ground. It also hits the ground at negative 0.081 seconds, but that's out of the, the picture of the, the graph. That would be this portion back here, the negative 0.08. That's not what I want to know. I want to know when it hits the ground. And it hits the ground at 3.081 seconds. Now, I want to know how fast the ball is traveling when it hits the ground. So I take this 3.081 and I plug it in to the velocity. So this is was I set S of, sub, S of T equal to zero. This year I'm going to actually find the velocity at 3.081 seconds. And that's going to equal negative 32 times 3.081 plus 48. So now I'm going to go into normal mode, which is mode one. And I'm just going to type that in. Negative 32 times 3.081 plus 48. <clears throat> and that's how fast it's going when it hits the ground. So the answer is negative 50 point 592 feet per second. Number two, same scenario. Ball is kicked from three feet off the ground with an initial velocity of 28 feet per second. How fast is the ball traveling when it's two seconds in the air? Ooh, a little different. They don't want to know when it hits the ground. They want to know how fast the ball is tra traveling when it's two seconds in the air. So that's important. Not when it hits the ground like this one up here. Two seconds in the air. So that's position. So I'm going to write the position function. Negative 16 t squared plus 28 t plus 3, and I want to know how fast it's traveling when it's 2 seconds in the air. Um, so t equals 2, and I'm just going to plug 2 into my velocity. So the velocity is the derivative of the position, and that's going to give me negative 32 t plus 28. And how fast is it traveling when it's 2 seconds in the air? That's just going to give me v of 2. It's going to equal negative 32 times 2 plus 28. I think I can do, do this one without the calculator. That's going to give me negative 64 plus 28. Negative 64 plus 28, um, that would give me 4, oh wait, I better use the calculator, um, 28 minus 64, negative 36, it would have been 4 minus 8, so that's going to give me negative 36, again, velocity, how fast, is going to give me feet per second. Number 3, football kick, football is kicked from 1, to be foot, off the ground, with an initial velocity of 70, how fast is the ball traveling, another when it hits the ground, okay, another when it hits the ground. So I'm going to have to set the <coughs> position function equal to zero after I set it up. Negative 16 t squared plus 70 t plus 1, the velocity function. Because it says how fast. I want to set that equal to zero. So where negative 16 t squared plus 70 t plus 1 is equal to zero. And that's going to be y equals negative 16. Instead of t, I'm going to use x squared plus 70 x. Plus one. I'm gonna graph that. Well, actually, I'm gonna zoom fit it. That would be the thing to do. Pretty good graph. Now I'm gonna zoom box it. Zoom box. I'm gonna get that cursor. Mouse key that cursor up and get it close. And I'm gonna find out where it hits there. So that's gonna be a second calc. I'm um, not a value. I'm gonna go to zero. I'm going to scroll over, I'm using the mouse key, scrolling over, I hit enter when I'm a little bit above the line, that's my left bound, and I'm going to scroll over, I hit enter when I'm below the line, I hit enter one more time, and notice, that represents zero, and that represents 4.389, so it hits the ground at t equals 4.389 seconds, not part of my answer, it's the ground at 4.389 seconds, what I need to do is plug that into the velocity, so this is going to give me Velocity at 4.389 equals. 
I'm running out of room. Negative 32 times 4.389 plus 70. Can you use this calculator? I don't have to go to the, the Casio. Let me hit quit or clear. Clear again. I'm just going to type that in like it looks. Negative 32 parentheses 4.389 close parentheses plus 70. It's traveling at negative 70.448. Negative 70.448. And I believe it's feet per second. It's feet per second. So first thing I'm going to do is set up my position function. That's going to equal negative 16 t squared. Plus, whoops, plus 112 t. But it's hit from the ground. Because it's hit from the ground, that's going to be an initial height of zero. You do realize you don't have to put the zero there. I'm going to immediately find a velocity function. I'm going to take the derivative because the question asks how fast. That means find the derivative. And that's going to be negative 32 t plus 112. <clears throat> what I want to do is find out when it hits the ground. So, again, I can use a calculator for this, but this time I'm going to do it by hand. So I'm going to set s of t, the position, equal to zero. So what that means is I'm going to let negative 16 t squared plus 112 t equal zero. I'm going to factor out a t. Actually, I'm going to factor out a negative 16 t. I'm going to divide both of these by negative 16t. And that's going to give me negative 16t times t, because negative 16 divided by negative 16 is 1. t squared divided by t is that. 112 divided by 16. I think 16 goes evenly into 112. Maybe 9 times? 8 times? Let me see, 9 times 6 is... doesn't end in 2. Um, 8 times 6, 7 times. 7 times 6 is 42. 7 times 1 is 7 plus 4 is 11. So there we go. Minus 7. Equals zero. No calculator. Did it by hand. Now I set each of these equal to zero. So that means negative 16 t equals zero. So t is going to equal zero. And that fits the picture. Notice it's hit from the ground. And goes up and hits the ground again. And I set this equal to zero. So t minus 7 equals zero. It's going to hit the ground after 7 seconds. Let's see what the question asks. How fast is the ball traveling when it hits the ground? So that's going to be v of 7. Is going to equal negative 32 times 7 plus 112. Let me see if I can't bore you with this. So that's going to give me 7 times negative 32. That's 14. That's 21. 224 negative plus 112. It's going to be 2, 1, 1, negative 112. So it hits the ground at negative 112 feet per second. And that's logical. Because what goes up must come down. And because it starts at 0, 0, it's going to eventually get to that vertex. And it's going to slow down as much as it can, and then it's going to start speeding up equally. So this is negative 112 feet per second, and this is positive 112 feet per second. This time we're just dropping something. Here we dropped from 114 feet. So now the initial velocity is going to be zero. No initial velocity. So our position function is going to be given by s of t equals negative 16 t squared plus 144. The velocity function, you want to know how fast it's traveling as it strikes the ground. So that's going to be the velocity function. And that's going to equal negative 32 t. Notice the derivative of 144 is 0. So first I want to find out when it hits the ground. And then I want to find out how fast it's going when it hits the ground. So I set this equal to 0. Negative 16 t squared plus 144 equals 0. <coughs> negative 16 t squared equals negative 144. Divide both sides by negative 16. t squared equals... The negatives are going to cancel out. And that's going to give me a positive time. Let's see what 16 into 144 is. Well, it can't go in once there, so it can't be 10. What's 9 times 4 is 54. I'm going to try 9. 9 times 4 is 54. Whoops, 54. 9 times 1 is 9 plus 5 is 14, 144. So t squared equals 9. Notice t is going to equal, after I square root both sides, plus or minus 3 seconds. But because we're dealing with time, we're only going to go with the positive 3. So t equals 3 seconds. I take that t equals 3 and plug it in over here. So v of 3 equals negative 32 times 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. I believe it's going to be negative 96 feet per second. So the first part is, how long does it take to hit the ground? That would be 3 seconds. And how fast is it traveling when it hits the ground? Negative 96 feet per second. Alright, number 6. There's the position function. If it's 4 feet from the ground, that's 4. With an initial velocity of 60 feet, how fast is the ball traveling when it hits the ground? Derivative. Set it equal to 0, so it's going to be negative 32 t plus 60. And well, I want to set the position equal to 0, so this time I'm going to go back to the Casio. Turn it on, hit mode. 5 for equation. 3. Now I'm going to type in the coefficients, negative 16, positive 60, and positive 4. Hit equals, and that gives me 
Quadratic formula, 3.816 seconds. So T equals 3.816 seconds. If I hit it again, it'll give me the negative value. That's not what I want. I want the positive value downfield. How fast is it ball traveling when it hits the ground? I'm going to plug that into this equation. So that's going to give me V of 3.816 equals negative 32 times 3.816 plus 60. I'm going to go to normal computational mode and enter that into the calculator, which is mode 1. And I'm going to type in negative 32, negative 32, parentheses, 3.816, close parentheses, plus 60. Whoops. And I went down as a decimal, negative 62.112 feet per second, two feet, so that's the initial height, from two feet off the ground, with an initial velocity of 96. So that goes in there. How fast is the ball traveling when it's two seconds in the air? So that means I want the velocity. How fast means the derivative of the position, negative 32t plus 96. And now I just want to plug in the two. I want to find v of 2, and that's going to equal negative 32 times 2 plus 96. Let's see, that's negative 64, so I need to do 96 minus 64. See if I can't do this one by hand. So that's going to give me 2, and that's going to give me 3. So 32, how fast is the ball traveling when it's 2 seconds in the air? I guess it's on the way up. 32 feet per second. <clears throat> Number 8, a football is kicked from 4.5 feet off the ground. So that goes in the back end for the initial height. With an initial velocity of 72 feet per second, so that goes in the middle. And it's going to be negative 16, which is the acceleration of gravity on planet Earth. How fast is the ball traveling when it hits the ground? How fast means velocity. And that's the derivative of the position function. So it's going to give me negative 32t plus 72. But I need to solve this for zero. So I need to set the position function equal to zero. Negative 16. We're going to hit x squared instead of t squared. Plus 72x plus 72x <coughs> plus 4.5. And I'm going to hit zoom fit to get that graph within the boundaries that I want. Pretty nice graph. Now I want to know when it hits the ground. I want to know when it hits the ground. So I'm going to go to second, calc, zero. I'm going to get a left bound. I'm going to bring my cursor all the way over using my arrow buttons. Using my arrow buttons. I'm going to bring the cursor a little bit above, or left bound, a little bit to the left of where it crosses the axis. Hit enter. Now I'm going to go a little bit to the right or below where it crosses the x-axis. Hit enter again, and that gives me where it crosses the x-axis, which is when it hits the ground. That's 4.562 seconds. T equals 4.562 seconds. <clears throat> now I'm going to take that and plug it into the velocity function to find out how fast the ball is traveling when it hits the ground. I'm going to go back to the CASA or the TI-84. <clears throat> I'm going to clear that out, clear that out, and it goes back to normal comp computational mode. And I'm going to type in negative 32, parentheses. I believe the time was 4.562. 4.562, close parentheses. Plus 72. It hits the ground with a speed of a velocity of negative 73.984. Negative 73.984 feet per second. I set that equal to zero, <clears throat> t can equal zero, or t can equal six seconds. And I want to know when it hits the ground, not when it starts from the ground. It starts from the ground at zero, goes up in the air, it's a problem, and then it comes back down and lands six seconds later. So we're going to use t equals six. I plug that into my velocity, so it's going to be velocity at six seconds equals negative 32 times six plus 96. A little arithmetic, that's going to give me six times negative 32 times six plus 96. And that equals negative 96. So it hits the ground at opposite velocity of when it's struck from the ground. So negative 96 feet per second. Number 10, a hammer is dropped. That means its initial velocity is zero. Notice there's nowhere in here where it talks about initial velocity. From an 80 foot roof. So its initial height is 80 feet. But notice there's no 96 or 112 T in the middle. Its initial velocity is zero. And then it says how fast. It asks how fast. So that's going to be the velocity or the derivative of the position function. So I need to set this equal to zero to find out when it hits the ground, or as it strikes the ground. Notice that's going to give me negative 16 t squared equals negative 80. Divide both sides by negative 16. And this is going to give me t squared equals 5. The square root of 5. And this will only give me a decimal. So it hits the ground at negative 71.554. <clears throat> negative 71.554. So how long does it take to hit the ground? Square root 5 seconds. And how fast is it traveling as it strikes the ground? Negative 71.554 feet per second.